Hey MVPs, I'm going to be giving away this pick for free, so I can't really show you the chart. I'll show you the final chart when I do the recap video. But in this particular matchup, we have Robert Whitaker, 26 and 7, in the main event, and he's fighting this guy named Ikram Aliskarov. He's 15 and 1. Okay, just was on one of the earlier fights on the card last week. They pulled him out of the fight, and they told him fly across the world and go fight one of the best fighters in the world and you got this man and everybody believes in this guy he's big he's strong he he goes out and punches hard and all this shit and i'm like all right bro well let's go turn on the tape and see what we see well what do we see from ikram well he beat wally alvis you know how many people have beaten wally alvis several we picked him in another fight on short notice and he did not win okay so he's trash we know it phil hawes is a knockout waiting to happen we know it. and actually phil hawes is putting it on him because once he got to the ufc he started seeing some strikers but when i tell you these are the three ufc guys that he's fought it, it's not great now on the regional scene dennis tulian he's fought before in the ufc there's comes there's chemayev yeah and he got knocked out by chemayev in the first round He's not on that level. I'm letting you know. But they're telling me he's good. Okay. So he's pretty good, and he's going to go fight a five-round fight against somebody he wasn't preparing for. And he seems kind of similar. He seems like the generic version of Chimaev, who Bobby Knuckles was getting ready for. Now, Bobby Knuckles, someone's going to tell you he's losing durability, and he has no chin. What the hell are they talking about? Who has this man lost to? Do you guys know who he's lost to in the last 10 years? Let's just go back to 2014. Right here, 24. In the last 10 years, he's lost to Israel Adesanya, the champ, twice, and Drikis Duplessis, DDP. That's it. We're talking about champions. That's the only people he's ever lost. Two guys on the planet Earth have beat this dude. And everybody's counting him out like he's not going to win anything, like he's not any good anymore. He's lost to two humans on the planet Earth, and they're both world champions. And then there's him. Who did he beat? Jared Cannonier would beat the ever-living crap out of these dudes. Kelvin Gastelum's on this card. He beat Vittori. Yes, the fight against Costa didn't look great. He got a little injured, whatever. But he beat Costa. Oh, Costa didn't look so good, Rico. He just fought Sean Strickland, another world champion. Remember, you're naming world champions. You keep any guy that didn't look good against this guy and this guy. It's all the world champs. It's all the best fighters in the world. And you want me to bet on a dude named Ikram who's only beat a dude named Warley? Warley? And Phil Hawes? Are you shitting me, bro? I can't do it. I can't do it, guys. Not in a million years. Now, is this a lock or is this a lean? Well, if there was ever a time I was looking at two individuals and assessing their fight acumen, ability, skill set, experience, five rounds, and I know this guy doesn't have much of a gas tank, and I know this guy had to make two weight cuts because he started cutting weight last week. Then they said, stop, stop, you can eat. Get on a flight, fly over there, and now you got to cut weight again. You want to take that guy in five rounds against Bobby Knuckles. Mr. Counterpunch, your pivot and move. Man, you're tripping, bro. I, if there was ever a time I had to sit here and just be like, yep, that's a lock. Yep, I'm taking it. Give me Robert Whitaker, and I'm telling you guys this. My locks are at 82%, right, on the season. I can't show you the chart right now because it'll show you all the other picks, and I'm making this fight for free. But for those of you out there who are watching this fight for free, I'm telling you I like Robert Whitaker. I like him. I'm going to stick with it. And it's it's a 152. And I know that's not much. So now Rico, is he going to win by knockout? He's going to win by points? Well, there's a chance this Ikram kid gets exhausted and Bobby Knuckles wins this thing in the third, fourth, and fifth round. But I'm not even going to try to get surgical with it. I'm going to tell you I feel confident to put 152 bucks on Bobby Knuckles and win $100. That individual bet is there. Don't parlay it with anything. If you're going to parlay it with something, parlay it with another lean on the card if you want. Or you can add some juice to it with something else, right? So we're going to go here. We're going money line, Bobby Knuckles. And then if I go back to the card, I don't want to give away any of my picks, but the very first fight I made free. So let's go there. I don't really like it because I went with Holy. That's dangerous. Holy shit. Holy F, right? And that's plus 222. You can get fancy with that. If you're, if you're making that bet, you can watch the first fight of the night and the last fight of the night. 
right? You bet 50 bucks, you go ahead and make yourself $161. Something to that effect. But I wouldn't do that. I would just go here, maybe bet the over rounds on another fight or something. Just something to get it up to plus 100. I like all my bets to be at plus 100. Don't go crazy. Don't do anything too nuts. A lot of you guys believe in Magomed. You can take Magomed here and it will get you to plus 100. Look at how easy that was. Look how easy that is. You can round robin that Bobby Knuckles with a couple of things and get a bunch of bets to plus 100 and just sit back and relax and watch Bobby Knuckles do his thing. Yes, Ikram is young. Oh, wait, he's not young. Oh, he's new to the UFC, but he's not even young. He don't even have the advantage of being young. He's 31. Bobby Knuckles, 33, bro. We're, we're right here in the pocket. I can't do it, man. I can't tell you guys. I cannot tell gamblers out there to bet on this man. Now, if you want to fade me, Feel free to do so, okay? I miss 20% of the time on the locks. This is a lock for me. I miss 20% of the time when I say stuff like this. Uh, a little less than 20%, about 19%. So you will be right one out of five times. But as of right now, I'm taking Robert Whitaker. It's a lock. Your friends don't know, but Rico knows. Peace, y'all. Good luck. Become an MVP. You'll see all the other bets, all the other picks, all the other parlays, all the other props. You'll know the deal. Peace.